perfect with that. It was a lot of penalties in that first then, a little bit in the second period, and things kind yeah. of kicked into a different gear. I thought that uh, we played with emotion uh, in the first period, but uh, it wasn't controlled. And, uh, we took a couple penalties, and uh, you know, we ended up being down 2 nothing. It was a big goal to make it 2-1 uh, on a power play at, you know, towards the end of the first. Uh, but, uh, I thought that we played really well in the second period, and we worked hard. And that's why we, uh, you know, we had, we had some power plays and we had some uh, some scoring chances too. And you know, down three two after two, and uh, you know we come up with uh, with a tying goal, and then uh, we find a way to, to win it in uh, in a shootout. So it's a big win for us. Really big win, especially after coming off your mm -hmm. kind of statement win in Binghamton on Tuesday night. Now you're rolling into Toronto. So what's yeah. what's the feeling like? Well, we needed that game because uh, one, uh, Raj is right, right there with us uh, in the standings, and we know it's going to be a battle against them uh, all year long to, for that uh, for a playoff spot. And um, you know, we we knew also that it was a tough weekend, and we needed to start on the on the right foot. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday are going to be uh, they're not going to be easy games, and uh, you know, if we can come out of that uh, with at least a, at least a win, uh, you know, that's it's it's going to be you know a good trip for us, uh, especially. You know, starting the trip uh, with two losses. Charlie had some big saves yep. back there between the pipes. Mm -hmm. You're happy with performance? No, I mean uh, he's he gives us a chance to win every night, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Allmark was really good on the other end, and uh, I know that uh, that Charlie, uh, you know takes it as a challenge to play against good goaltenders like that and uh, you know he's a gamer he's a winner and uh, he wants to succeed and you know you surely sh showed it uh, since the start a little emotion but pretty businesslike after the disallowed thing um, that in overtime. Well, you have to. I mean, you, you can't lose control. And uh, you know, we knew that in overtime, uh, not just in overtime, but in shootout, uh, we knew that you know Charlie could make some big saves for us. And uh, you know, what uh, I didn't like is a couple of the, sh uh, the, the guys shooting where you know we just uh, actually didn't even get a shot on net. And especially when the ice is bad like this, you need you need to shoot the puck. So walk me through tonight's game a little bit. That was a that was a. Out there. Yeah, it was up and down. It was like a lot of power play, penalty kill, and special team stuff. So uh, it was good. It wasn't an easy win. Uh, they came out pretty strong against us. So uh, uh, we got it done in the shootout. It doesn't matter if we get an overtime shootout. We got the two points. That's what matters right now. Going back one game, back to the Binghamton game, how did that uh, first goal of the season feel for Yeah, it felt good. You like to get it pretty early on. It took a few games, but uh, uh, the guys are giving me a hard time in there. I can come on pace for a couple more goals now, but. Uh, no, it was good. We, uh, we won that game, which is special as well. And then come in tonight, play the same way. So everything's going good right now. How's it feeling? Uh, I know you're on a new team this year. How's, how's chemistry? How are things clicking for you on St. John's? Yeah, it's awesome. You know what? These guys make it so easy for me. You just come in the rink and everything's there for you. It's all set up. You, all you got to do is put your work hat on and go to work. Uh, everyone in the organization has been so helpful. And it's really good to see like a big family here. It's, uh, it's good. We're on the road for so long. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to have that tight-knit group. And uh, I think that's what we have. So walk me through a little bit. Let's say you were scouting yourself. Describe yourself as a player a little bit. Uh, I think he's a big guy. He can move his feet. Uh, likes to get in the cycle, get in the forecheck. Uh, likes to make plays as well, not just big, big and tough and you know, rugged like that. But uh, yeah, I like to bring a little bit of everything. Good, good defensive uh, game as well. So kind of just a little chip in all, all, all around there. It's a young team, the Ice Caps. Yeah. You've got to be considered one of the, the leaders. Yeah. Um, what, what do you think that you can bring to somebody who's starting out their pro career? Yeah, I think it's a positive attitude. Um, you, I've been through the situation. I've been up and down. I've been, I've been in the NHL. I've been in the East Coast League. I've kind of been in and out of the lineup here and there. So I've, I've been through a lot in three years of my career. So some of these guys that are early on that are in and out of the lineup, just kind of pull them aside, talk to them, keep positive because now you know a couple guys get called up. And now you're playing every night. You're on the power play, whatever, pelling kill. So it's uh, it's like this, right? It's it's it's, it's a hill. You got to climb it, and it's it's a, it's a marathon. Okay, you get on. You got to earn your ice in this league. And uh, there's a lot of young prospects. You got to take care of them as well. It was a it was a really good win for for you guys. Full 60 minutes. How did it feel for you? 
No, it was. I mean, it, it's never easy to, to come here. Obviously, we know they're, they're a good team, and this is, is always a tough building to play in. And uh, coming from uh, from a game last night in Rochester, uh, uh, no, I mean, it was, uh, uh, you know, not the way we wanted to, to start the game, obviously, with then uh, going up one nothing but quite early in the game. But uh, we battled back. Uh, uh, we didn't get too many chances, but we capitalized on them. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we got the two goals, and uh, that's all we needed for today. As far as your game so far this season, uh, what are you really seeing in front of you, especially with the decor in, in front of your chemistry there, communic good communication, those kinds of things? Yeah, it's, it's getting better every game. Uh, I mean, obviously there's always an adjustment period, uh, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, it's, it's getting better every night and every game, and uh, it's one thing, I mean, those guys compete every night. Um, uh, they're really good at blocking shots, and uh, which is uh, obviously great for me, but uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, it's, it's uh, the game's getting easier uh, game after game. And how's, how does how does this room feel for you? How's coming coming on? Great the group scene? of guys. Uh, we definitely have uh, a lot of skills. Uh, obviously, we uh, we can definitely score goals, and uh, uh, like I said, a lot of toughness to uh, when we have to be. Um, so uh, a lot of good things. Maybe the the, the only thing maybe is uh, tying up some some uh, small thing defensively, uh, but uh, I'm not worried that will come. And then the Canadians organization. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, first class organization. My my second sin with the uh, with the organization. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's exciting. Obviously, this uh, uh, the team, the organization I grew up uh, watching, and uh, uh, you know, I was definitely excited when I got the call. We met you for the first time in Syracuse at the AHL All Star Game yeah. last year, and yeah. you had your young family along with yeah. you. Now you have your young family, and you go up to St. John's. What's that new adventure like? Um, I mean, we're we're kind of getting used to it because it's been uh, a different team every year now. But uh, uh, family was excited. Uh, my boys, uh, uh, for them, they were just excited to to, to meet new players, uh, uh, get to to go to a different rank. Uh, so they're uh, they've been great. Uh, obviously, it's uh, it can't be that uh, that easy on them, uh, but they. Uh, They've been great so far, and uh, same thing with my wife. Uh, obviously, couldn't do it, couldn't do it without her. And uh, uh, but uh, no, we we're, we're all settled in, and uh, uh, that's uh, again thanks to my wife. She she always finds things to do for the boys and then keep them busy, and uh, uh, it's been the case again this year. Yeah, great tonight. Walk me walk me through that a little bit. Um, yeah, it was just an all-out good battle from the whole team, I think, and obviously I've been struggling a little bit with uh, scoring and producing, but uh, it's nice to, to uh, get a goal and assist in, but uh, most of all, I'm, I'm really happy with how, uh, how the team uh, battled and, uh, you know, I'm stuck with it for 60 minutes. It's funny that you say that you've been struggling a bit this season, since I was just actually going to say you've been having a great season. It may not, may not be showing in all the score sheet, but you're all over the ice. You're right where it counts all the times. You're in the dirty areas. How do you really feel your season is going and your game is going? Uh, I, you know, and. I feel like I get all responsibilities from the from the coaches, and obviously I try to take take that with pride and, and do do things right out there. But um, you know, it's been that the last piece was missing, and um, you know today I got it right. But you know, it's, as long as you keep working hard, uh, I think those things will will come. How does it feel in the room? You know, you've got three in a row now heading into tomorrow, and this yeah. Rochester and today were were tough teams to mm -hmm. play against. So it's got to be a good feeling in the room. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, it's tough playing these uh, three and threes, but uh, winning definitely helps and uh, brings uh, uh, some more energy to the team for sure. So let's get your birthday present tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah, we'll save it for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. A little bit of chemistry with you and Marcus. Uh, both played well. Really yeah. Well today. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I think it was two games ago. I played with uh, both uh, Farnham and and uh, and Icy, and um, you know we, we kind of see see the game the same way, um, and um, you know working hard, try to try to use our speed and uh, and um, you know grind down uh, down low too. So uh, yeah. But not only the on the offensive side, uh, there was that penalty with about seven minutes left. You and Yakub out there on the mm -hmm. penalty kill, really key penalty killing for, from you guys as well. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's part of uh, you know a few of us that that really. Um, 
do a great job out there and um, you know takes pride in, in killing penalties and uh, uh, we need more of that. Really tight. What, what, what did you like that you saw the team doing today? Well, I like the effort uh, because uh, I think you know when you play three games in less than three nights and you know the travel on Friday night, uh, long trip finishing a long trip. Uh, you know I, I have to be pleased with the effort that the guys uh, put for, uh, put forward. Um, obviously, you know they have a good team. Uh, they have a lot of speed, so it's, it's it was you know a tough game to play uh, to play in. But uh, you know I like the way we reacted in, uh, in some situations. Other situations, I think we can do better. But uh, uh, Charlie Lindgren was good again tonight, and obviously uh, we left him out to dry a little bit there towards the third period. But uh, you know I think that uh, it was uh, was more of a uh, you know just running out of gas uh, than uh, than not wanting to play. Overall, though, road trip as a whole, three in a, one three in a row this week. How are you mm-hmm. feeling about the, the road trip in general? Well, it's, uh, we're going to try to figure out you know, why we start the road trip uh, the way we started the both both trips. And, uh, you know, we, we battled uh, and we showed character and, you know, to come up with uh, with three wins. And then tonight, like I said, it was just a matter of running out, uh, running out of gas. So you head home, head back to St. John's, mm-hmm. and you've got Providence coming in next week. Yeah. What are you expecting out of them? Usually well, the, the, the two games we played in Providence were uh, two tough games. Uh, you know, they're a team that, uh, that create a lot of uh, uh, scoring chances off their uh, forecheck, and uh, we're going to have to be, uh, you know, really sharp on our on our breakouts and our support in the D zone and uh, coming out. And then, uh, you know, we, we need to, uh, you know, to test our goaltending. Uh, that's, that's one thing. And then the second thing is uh, we're going to have to compete. The third three on three that yeah. you've had, you've got a couple more coming up. How yeah. are you going to deal with them? Well, you know, when when we get there, uh, first of all, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's sometimes the lineup can change. You know, uh, in one in one night, uh, and then the second night, you know, it's a different lineup, and uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of things can happen until then. But you know, the the way that uh, we try to do things is, is, is you know to, to make sure that the guys have enough rest uh, before, and uh, once we get into the three and three, it's to make sure that guys have uh, you know the proper food and proper fluids in, in them, and uh, uh, and also, you know, that to, to have short shifts, and you know, I'm trying to roll four lines, but you know, sometimes penalties, uh, you know, penalty killing and power plays and stuff, uh, you know, then it makes it tougher to, you know, to have guys uh, more kind of distribute the uh, the ice time evenly. Uh, but uh, I thought, that, like I said, the guys' effort tonight, you know, uh, at least for the first two periods, was uh, was great. Let's just first chat a little bit about this game. That seemed like a really tight game, especially for the first two periods. How did it? How did it feel out there for you? Well, I feel like we were really good defensively, both teams. I mean, we didn't give each other much. Uh, it was uh, obviously a tough game to play for for both teams. I feel like we were right on them all the time. Uh, four chicks were tough. It was uh, always tough uh, playing in, in our D zone, but uh, we also tried to make it tough for them playing in theirs. And I feel like the first two periods, even throughout the whole game, we made a, we did a really good job and unfortunately got a lucky bounce at the end that uh, I found the back of the net. So it's just the way it goes. It's a tough one tonight, but... The week leading up to it, Bingo, Raj, and, and even yesterday's game in Toronto, you guys were just all four lines seemed to be clicking. Your line in particular seemed really gelling together. How do you feel? How do you feel about the trip so far? Uh, really good, actually. Like uh, we had a slow start, but. Uh I think the end of it, even even today, even though we lost, uh, that should give us confidence because we played a really good game and uh, we had we had a lot of games where we had to battle back. Uh, we were down by by one or two goals even and came back and, and even won the game in, in Rochester or even yesterday. Um, yeah, but uh, happy that the lines are, are finally clicking and uh, like it's it's fun to play, so uh, it's the most important thing. We were actually um, talked to Freeberg yesterday a little bit about the chemistry you guys seem to be having. How what's it what's it like playing with him on your wing? I mean, it's uh, it's really fun. I mean, everyone works for for we all we work for each other. Um, I feel like we get a really good forecheck going down low there. Like uh, we support each other. We talk a lot. Uh, if things don't work out, we talk uh, we talk about it and try to make a better make a better job the next time. And uh, it's really fun. It's uh, it's also it's also nice that we got rewarded yesterday for it. Uh, unfortunately, today it uh, wasn't going to happen. But uh, yeah, it's things keep rolling. So just describe yourself a little bit as a, as a player. If you were a scout scouting yourself, how would you describe yourself? First of all, probably the, the speed. I'm a, I'm a really good skater, I think, and uh, the the speed is uh, what's, what's obvious. I feel like I have a really good shot, too. I'm a, I'm a smart player. I know uh, 
I know where to go and where to where to find the puck. And uh, at the same time, I'm I'm responsible to way forward and uh, I, I back check so hard. I try to to be good in my D zone and uh, yeah, that's probably it. Off the ice, it seems like you're pretty close with uh, Nicky Sherback and, and you two get along quite well. What, what is it that, that makes that partnership work? I mean, uh, first of all, last year we were both rookies. We came in the league at the same time. Uh, we lived right next to each other. Um, on days off, uh, we, when we're bored, we do stuff together. Like, it's... Uh, yeah, you just you just find someone you you get along with really well, and uh, he he always asks me. I ask him to hang out when we uh, like even I mean, when we just go in, in St. John's to Signal Hill and then uh, just hang out, play play Xbox, play PlayStation. Like it's it's always fun to be around him, and uh, yeah, you just have a guy that you that you click with, like uh, like Shirley, so it's it's fun to have him around. First two periods seem to be really tightly played. I think things came unravel a little bit in the third, but. How did it feel for you? That yeah, was a tough game, obviously. Uh, Sunday three and threes are always tough on guys and tough on the bodies. But uh, like you said, I think we, we were all right in the first couple periods and, and kept it tight. But uh, I think they just had a little more energy just in the third and, and they found a way to, to put some in. Going back to earlier in this week, though, three, three wins in a row, a couple of them really hard fought against you know, Rochester in the first game against Toronto. But Talk to me a little bit about that and, and what that momentum was like. Yeah, I think to the road trip it was a little bit of a rough start in Springfield and, uh, you know, a game we probably should have won in Albany being up by one with four minutes left. But uh, no testament to the guys coming back out in Bingen and having a big game and then a uh, hard-fought win in, in Rochester, getting the shootout win there. And um, coming here is always a tough place to play and um, big two points last night winning winning on the road in Toronto is always big. So um, definitely had some momentum coming in today and um, you know, I think the three and three is tough, but uh, overall pretty good road trip. Your line has looked really great. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the chemistry you have working right now, especially with uh, with Roland Bernard. Yeah, I think uh, you know we had the chance to play with each other the last few games, and uh, I think the big thing for us is, is just go out there and play with energy and, and try and get pucks deep and get behind their defensemen. You know, that's our job as the fourth line to go out there and, and create that energy. And I think uh, you know for the most part we've been pretty good at doing that and uh, staying responsible defensively, so uh, we can wear down their team. Yeah. If you were a scout, describe yourself as a player a little bit. Uh, I like to think of myself as a two-way guy, reliable in my own end, but I uh, can also chip in a little bit offensively. And um, you know, I think uh, one thing I really big in table is my face-offs, and and uh, penalty killing as well. I take a lot of pride in both those things. That game in in Binghamton, especially. Um, not that my opinion means anything, but I tweeted that I thought your line was the best out there. Oh, thank you, I Bro, appreciate that. Bro got his, yeah. his first Big goal. Big goal, yeah. Um, yeah. You guys, you felt good out Yeah, there. for sure. I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, we're, we're an energy line trying to get pucks in deep, and I think uh, Broler's goal is... Uh, you know exactly how we're expected to score goals. A couple guys in front of that, and fortunate bounce, and, and Broler's there to pick up the garbage and put it in. So I think uh, stuff like that is exactly what we want to do.